Good morning children. In the previous class we have said about the nutrition in plants. So now we'll continue the, pro the process of plants, how they take in their food. Four scientists we have studied about Von Helmont, Stephen Hales, Joseph Priestley, and engine house isn't it von helmont he said about the growth of the plants what did he say about the growth of the plants the plants grow with the water it takes in not what the present in the soil but what the what it takes from the soil but through the water it takes in so if the growth of the plants was explained by von helmont next stephen hales what did he say he said about the transpiration process the excess water that is present in the plant how it comes out from the plant the removal of excess water from the plant is done by the process of photosynthesis in sorry transpiration in plants that is said by stephen hales he also said about the role of light role of light in the process of nutrition that is in the process of preparation of food in preparation of food this also was said by stephen hales by plants is it clear children next joseph priestley he said what the plants were doing was reversed by the animals that is plants about respiration process in plants plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen this was said by joseph priestley what did he say he said that what the plants were doing was reversed by the animals that is plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen whereas animals take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide so that the plants are making the air pure and whereas the animals are making the air impure that was said by joseph priestley now coming to engine house this is the topic that we have to deal with today isn't it so engine house was a scientist who said that the green parts of the plants only take part in the process of photosynthesis photosynthesis the process the name itself tells us that plants prepare their own food with the help of light so how does the plant prepare the food what is this process photosynthetic process here only green parts of the plant can prepare their food green parts of the plant only can prepare their food only can prepare their food was said by engine house what is this why what is this green parts of the plant that means leaves and stem that stem which is green in color and the leaves mainly they contain the stomata or the chlorophyll the green the leaves are green in color leaves are green in color why is it so you all almost you see that the leaves are green in color it is due to the presence of chlorophyll it is a pigment what is chlorophyll it is a pigment coloring substance present in the leaves pigment present in leaves it is chlorophyll chlorophyll is the pigment present in leaves which gives green color to the leaves okay children now we'll do what is photosynthetic reaction or photosynthetic process for the plants to carry on this photosynthetic process that is the preparation of food it needs four substances what are the four substances essential for preparation of food by the plants what are the four substances essential for preparation of food by the plants preparation of food by the plants is called as photosynthesis so by the plants are they are 
Number one, water. Number two, carbon dioxide. Number three, sunlight. And last one, chlorophyll, pigment that is present in the leaves. It's chlorophyll. So in the presence of all these four substances, plants can prepare glucose. And it gives out oxygen. What does it give out? Oxygen. It takes in carbon dioxide. It gives out oxygen. Is it clear? So it releases oxygen into the atmosphere. So this is the photosynthetic process. So we can write in the form of the equation as what is photosynthetic equation. We will see now. So, plants take in water. It is photosynthetic reaction. Or equation. What is photosynthetic equation? We can say that plants take in water plus it takes in carbon dioxide. Isn't it? Carbon dioxide. In the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll, it gives rise to glucose plus oxygen. So here it takes in carbon dioxide and gives out oxygen into the atmosphere. This is photosynthetic equation. Photo means sunlight, light. So it takes the light from the sun. Photo means light. It takes the light from the sun. Plants take light from the sun. So it's called as it prepares it food by taking the light from the sun and water from the soil and carbon dioxide from the air. Is it clear children? So this is the photosynthetic equation. It was mentioned by engine house. Okay children? Next, we will explain each substance that is present in here, how it takes in, what are the parts that are responsible in the plant to prepare this photosynthetic process. How does the photosynthetic process takes place in the plants. To know this one by one we have to know the functions of the plants of par different parts of the plant that is absorption by the roots first. You know as Van Helmand said absorption of water by roots. So it grows by the absorption of water through roots. Isn't it? By roots or through roots. By the plant. How does it take place? Already in your 6th standard, you have learned that about the experiment taking two glass tumblers filled up with three-fourths of water and taking the tender stem fitted to a wooden plant, tender stem which contains the lee, roots and also the leaves. Is it clear, Ma? So from this you can understand that you in one tumbler you will not add any of the substance. In another tumbler you will be adding red ink or any colored agent. So that to understand that the water has been absorbed by the roots. So if the water is colorless as you know. So to know that it Absorbed, absorbed. The plant has absorbed the water through the roots which helped for its growth. Is it clear? So this is the same plant, same tender plant that you have taken. Is it clear children? So here you have added red ink. So here red or blue, anything you can add here. 
Is it clear, children? So it has been converted. So water is colorless generally. So when you add a red ink or blue ink, it converted. So added ink added. Add ink. Anything. Any colored colored ink. Colored ink here. No color is added. To water. So here this is kept for, for 3 to 4 hours under sunlight. So after observation you can see that water, you can tiny spots over the stem from the roots. You can see the colored parts over the stem also. So that it has been conducted. The water is been conducted. Here you see here you have to take a glass tumbler with water which contains the roots along with the roots tender stem you have to take and put it in the glass tumbler and let it be set for a three to four hours and at the same water you have to take and then in another tumbler you add color or any ink you can add and put the tender stemmed plant with along with the root you dip it and keep for three to four hours you can observe the colors that the roots has been observed. Is it clear as children? So from this you can say that roots absorb water and mineral salts from the soil. So they absorb the water first and through the water they absorb the mineral salts also. It is being understood from this experiment. Next we will move that what is the what are, what other things that the plants take in from the soil. So in normally you find farmers spraying the DDT or any other urea to the plants. Why is why do they spray the urea to the plants or crops? Because urea it converts normally when the green colored parts of the flower that is the plants, green parts of the plants convert to yellow then to make the yellow leaves to turn to green parts urea is added. Is it clear children? To make the yellow leaves to turn into green. So green parts that is leaves convert to yellow color. So to turn the yellow color leaves into green color if you add urea they turn to green color and they prepare their own food. Is it clear? So that's why you, the farmers add urea to the crops. So in fact you add urea along with water. Why do you do so or why do the farmers add water along with water in order to make the plant make the plant to take the manure make the plant to absorb the manure to absorb the manure along with water along with water so that it gets the mineral salts so it gets mineral salts from the soil too salts from the soil from this it's proved that plants absorb water and mineral salts from the soil through the roots water and mineral salts are absorbed by the roots or absorbed by the roots in a plant. So this experiment proves that plants absorb water and mineral salts from the soil through their roots. That is mixed so the urea is also mixed with water and sprayed so that it gets the pesticides or the, or the insecticides are mixed in the water and applied to the plant so that it mixes with the soil and absorbed by the roots through the water. Is it clear children? So that's and also the urea is sprinkled over the plants to convert the yellow leaves into green color so that it can make out its own food. So that is the importance of spraying urea to the plants and it reaches the plants through the water from the soil through leaf, roots. That is the importance of roots. Next comes about the leaves. Functions of the leaves, as you know, leaves are another important part of the plant where the stomata are present. Stomata are 
tiny pore like structures that are present on the leaves they help for respiration photosynthesis and transpiration photosynthesis is the functions of leaves photosynthesis respiration and transpiration and transpiration so how this takes place what are stomata this you are going to learn now so stomata or bean shaped structures tiny pores that are present on the epidermal layer of the leaves they are the tiny pores did you understand see clearly children it's very very important diagram these are this bean shaped structures are called as guard cells present the center part is called as stomatal pore stomatal pore these are guard cells bean shaped structures are called guard cells inside it you can see these structures they are chloroplasts what are they they are chloroplast green color structures to the leaf these are the tiny pores these are the tiny pores this is these are chloroplasts hope you can see this so this is the structure of stomata structure of stomata and its parts what is the function of stomata it helps in photosynthesis that is preparation of food for the plant respiration exchange of gases what do you mean by exchange of gases it takes in carbon dioxide and releases oxygen transpiration removal of excess of water by the plant removal of excess of water by the plant it takes place through the stomata so this is the function of stomata okay children in the next class i'll take up how light is essential for the plant now i said that importance of water and how the exchange of gases takes place okay children by in the next class we'll take up the next part of the lesson that is about the importance of light okay children do the, follow the points that i have told you all the best have a nice day